Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. I figured you'd be sick of drills by now. Hopefully our training exercises will be more interesting than what they've had you doing at the academy. Of course. Open the door by clicking the right mouse button. The right button uses items in the world. Of course. As I was saying, it's your boy Deacon, and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex. Now before we commence this episode, do not forget to hoax smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this with your boys and your families, follow me on Instagram, smash that bell notification button, and enjoy. Oh, there you are. The key on the desk opens encryption-based nanotech locks. When you pick it up, it will automatically be added to your key ring. Use the key ring to unlock the door and proceed to the next area. I have done that. There you go. You're going to get a lot of equipment during these exercises. Press F1 at any time to access the inventory screen, which will let you add and remove items from the tool belt. Press F2 to view your current goals and any notes you may decide to take. On a typical mission, a UNATCO agent's objectives are logged electronically so that he can stay on task at all times. Now pick up a weapon and try to break open those crates. One of them's indestructible, but the others contain things you might find useful. Of course. Now pick up the lockpick and use it to open the door. Lockpicking takes time and expends the self-assembling resources of modern lockpicks. Just be patient and remember your training. At higher skill levels, you won't need as much time or lockpick resources to pick a lock. Nice. Doors have two strength values. The door strength tells you how much damage a door takes before being destroyed. The lock strength tells you how many lockpicks will be required to pick the lock. Some doors have an infinite strength and an infinite lock strength. That means you have to find a key. Nice. The code to the door has been stored in that data cube. Right click on the data cube to read the contents, then type the code into the keypad. You activate the keypad with the right mouse button, just like you activate a data cube or any object in the world. Cool. Yes, I remember my training, you see. Uh-huh. Use the disposable multi-tools on the table to hack the keypad up ahead. A multi-tools resources are finite. When a tool is depleted, it becomes useless. The manual describes other uses for the multi-tool. At higher skill levels, you'll need less time and multi-tool resources to hack a given device. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. Thank you. Uh huh. Lying in front of you is a brave cadet who volunteered to be rendered unconscious for this next training exercise. Highlight and search him to find the key to the medical room. Afterward, pick up his body and place it on the medical table so that one of my aides can revive him once the exercise is over. Roger that. Good work. I'll get someone down there immediately to revive Private Winslow. Move on to the next area. Yes, sir. You can bet this won't be the last time we send you into a dark room. Turn on your light augmentation and find the exit on the other side. Just press F12 by default. of a machine to need repair buffs now. If you use them some bioelectric energy getting through the dark area, for example, this contraption can charge you back up. What is that? Hey! Congratulations, you completed phase one. Move over the ramp into the next rooms to begin learning movement skills. We'll be watching you through the cameras, like the one you can see up in the corner. In the field, remember that terrorists sometimes use cameras like this in their security grids to set off alarms and alert guards to your location. 
Jump across the platforms. You'll have to crouch to get under those pipes. If you fall, use the stairs to begin again. You need to go through the door up ahead, but it's blocked. Those wooden crates are too big to jump and too heavy to lift, so use the metal crates near the wall to build steps. To pick up a crate, walk up to it so that it highlights, then click the right mouse button. To drop something you're holding, you can press the tab key by default. Now, go up the ladder at the other end of the room. By default, you look up and use the arrow keys to climb. Aha! What the fuck? There's a lag. Shit. We get some complaints about this swimming obstacle because the water's contaminated. Recruits forget to grab the hazmat suit and end up in my office. Not pretty. Or they forget that they have to put the suit on by selecting it and pressing the left mouse button. Remember that the hazmat is disposable. You can wear it only once and it operates only for a fixed duration. Use the ramp on the other side of the pool to climb out. Weapon familiarization. Your first exercise will be to learn a little about aiming and targeting. Step up to the shooting range to the west. The targets are released by using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and take a few shots with one of the pistols until it is destroyed. Notice the targeting reticle appears when you aim at a target. Alrighty. I found some ammo in the back. Good. If you hold your aim for a few seconds before firing, you will notice the reticle starts out wide and tightens as you hold. The longer your aim is a target without moving, the greater your accuracy will become. Release the second target and aim before shooting this time. I'll do that. Good work. Now proceed to the next area. Alrighty. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. Oh. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. You got it. This is a rifle range. Here, you will learn one of the ways skill level makes a difference in your accuracy. Step up to the shooting range. The targets are released using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and destroy it with the rifle. Use the rifle scope by pressing the left bracket key to turn the scope on. Excellent! Now we are going to raise your skill with rifles to master level. Release the second target and destroy it. Oh shit, any agent can take down the target a mile away with one shot. Oh, accuracy is absolutely... Good fuck. 
you can see, higher skills give you better range, accuracy, and effectiveness. Proceed to the next area when you are ready. Hell yeah, alright. You're my weapon, sir. Hand in your equipment. That's right. No cheating. Hell yeah. This is the demolitions training area. First, you will learn to use the lamb as a proximity mine. Approach the bay window and you will see a lamb placed on the target board on the black and red wall. Press the first button next to the window and a security bot will be released. Watch as he nears the lamb. Lambs placed on the wall is a proximity triggered. your own lamp. Take a lamp from the munitions bay and proceed to the red and black wall below. Nice. Get as close to the wall as possible when you place the lamp. If you aren't close enough, the lamp will fall to the ground and detonate. Hell yeah. Area for more demolitions training. Hell yeah. You'll need a few extra lamps for the demolitions area. Oh. Here, catch. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Next, you will need to breach the doors in the hallway. Throw a lamp down to the end of the hall. Once it blows, proceed down the corridor. Notice how the wooden door was destroyed and the metal and barred doors remained. Remember this for future reference. Beyond the destroyed door, you can see a damaged piece of wall. You can also breach with a lamp. Try that now. Excellent. Notice that the wall is opened. Look for other weakened walls such as this, and your lamp and other explosives will allow you to breach them. Continue through that breach and on to the next section. Gotta start the next section without arms or tools. Rules are rules. Roger that. The area beyond the door is the grenade defusing facility. Here you will learn how to remove planted explosive devices. Huh. At each of the corners of this area, you will find a lamp planted on the wall. You must disarm and remove all four lamps before you can proceed to the next section of training. You will need to move up to the lamp quickly and to defuse it by right-clicking. A second right-click will remove the lamp from the wall. A word of warning, Agent Denton. This was a simulated experience. Real lamps will not be so forgiving. Of course not. You may proceed to the next area. And in your equipment. That's right. No cheating. Hell yeah. I remember this one. Now you will learn to move quietly and conceal yourself so that you will be able to avoid the confrontation altogether. The test is simple. Get to the far north door without being spotted by the guards below. If one of them sees you, he will sound an alarm and lock the door. Roger that.
The guards can be distracted. Pick up and throw an object near them, and they will go investigate the noise. Bottles, plants, flasks, many things will work. Roger that. Always remember the four basic tactics to avoid detection. Crouch behind concealment. Stay behind enemies. Move slowly to avoid making noise. And use shadows to conceal yourself. Be alert to every possibility. Very good. I hope you remember this lesson, Agent. They have assigned us to be partners, and I will not stop to hold your hand and repeat myself when we are facing a real enemy. Now for the last test. You have to find a way across the river to the exit on the other side. There's more than one way to get there, depending on your approach and the skills you want to use. It's up to you. Make use of the IFF system to identify enemies. The crosshairs will highlight red over enemies, green over allies, and white over neutrals. Nice. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, there was a pistol somewhere here. I got my ammo. I got to keep my ammunition. Step up to each hologram for more info. When you're through, go out the opposite door. A deployment of your NATCO troopers is the central component of all UN peacekeeping occupations. The NSF, the biggest terrorist threat in the US, this national militia group thinks it is fighting the second American Revolution. This page industry's walking turret, marketed to governments worldwide, is the workhorse of most national military forces. Due to the heavy armor, they take little damage from ordinary bullets. If you come up against a bot, you should use an EMP grenade, scrambler grenade, or some kind of explosive. An inexpensive security bot. A favorite of third world countries and corporate security divisions. Not so mobile, but don't be fooled. We've lost plenty of agents to its well-armored assault gun. Like other bots, it's difficult to damage with ordinary bullets. This is the old augmentation technology. Hopefully about to be phased out. Notice the reliance on electronics and servo mechanics. A maintenance nightmare. If I had two credits for every repair manual they made me file in my office in the med lab... Coalition's new nano-augmented agents are nearly indistinguishable from the general population, huh. except that you and your brother don't know how to smile for a picture. 
Sufficiently impressive, an early success for the whole organization. Thanks. You from the United Nations? Your augmentations are a go. The real test comes next. Active duty. I'm ready, sir. Yes. Yes, you are. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this episode of Deus Ex, so thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to hook smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this with your boys and your families, follow me on Instagram, smash that bell notification button, and every single one of you have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace out.